Hey guys, real quick, Future Wolf here. Uh, as I'm editing, uh, I wanted to say that uh, I want to thank Scald for helping me, but in the beginning of the video, I actually say his name incorrectly. I was not aware of that it was Scald Me I'm Pink. Uh, you'll see partway through the video, he actually changes his name, his Steam name, to separate them a little bit better. Um, but I did find out later on how to pronounce it. Uh, he told me, and I would like to apologize again to him for uh, for, for saying it incorrectly. And I'll stop talking now so you guys can get into the video. Enjoy. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Black Wolf Gaming. As usual, I'm your host, Sir Wolf. And welcome to a very, very long-awaited video. Uh, I know quite a few people have been waiting for this. I myself have been working very hard uh, on this. And I've, I'm very happy to introduce all of you to the first annual Black Wolf Gaming Parade. Uh, now, you will notice there is not quite a parade going on. And that's because we haven't started it yet. But... Uh, I am in my little seat. I am in my little observer's position. Uh, I am actually sitting in a small town, which I'll be exploring in another video. Um, but this was made by Scald Melm Pink, and I hope I said that correctly, especially since he's currently in the world with me. Uh, and in fact, he's in a party. Now, you won't be hearing him because his microphone is currently broken. Um, but he is in here, and he will be assisting me. He's actually going to be driving all of the floats. Which you and leading and leading all the bands that you'll be seeing coming by, uh, but he built all of this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I will be exploring this more later. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get right on into the parade. All right, everyone, we have the first parade, uh, first float of the parade. Uh, this is called the Musical Parade Float, and it's by Alex White Zero Plays. And this is a musical float for a musical world by a musical DJ. Features a dance floor on the front and a full working DJ booth in the back. Uh, I, from what I understand, it does play, actually does play its own little bit, little bit of music. Uh, it has an interesting control. And Scald is going to go ahead and demonstrate the dance floor on the front with complete with beatboxing tone uh he's also going to demonstrate the uh he's going to demonstrate the dj booth in the back with all the various controls and he's going to wow us completely wow us with his prowess That is a beat I think we can all dance to. And I do believe there are a few other uh, buttons up there. They're not scald. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Um, as you can see, this is probably one of the most colorful floats in the parade and probably the most musical. Uh, it is... I, I, I really like it. Uh, on the front, you'll notice the dance lights uh, on the, uh, the little ramp right there on the front. Uh, and that has a little beatboxing robot that will actually sense you as you move. So thank you very much, Alex White, for giving us this little... There it is! <clears throat> thank you, Alex White, for giving us this amazing float. And yeah, it is. It's, it's... Oh, it was also... I knew there was one more thing I wanted to say. It was also the first float to be submitted. So thank you very much, Alex. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next float.
And I think that should be enough. All right, so our next float up is the 4x float from Gallium Gamer. This masterpiece of moving parts combined lowriders and off-road rigs. The rig itself, as you can see, hops. The animatronics in the back do move, and it has flashing lights. And it's also very low on uh, mods, so you only need the polygon mod for that. But as you can see, it is quite the build. Uh, it is the float itself is a little bit of a low rider. The um, uh, the four by four on top does kind of hop and move around. So there you go. Um, and it's it's a it's a very nice looking build. It's got you know little uh, little darker on the colors, but it fits it very much with that whole off road mechanical um, almost military esque theme. Uh, this is this is a uh, this is one I've been looking forward to seeing. So. Uh, thank you very much, Gallium Gamer, for your entry, and uh, we will see how it does at the end. Uh, we will, I'll be putting a vote up in the corner of your screen at the end of the video, and you can vote on which one is your favorite. Uh, Nick, uh, we will be moving on to the very next float here very shortly. All right, let's get the next one. <clears throat> This one should be kind of. This one should be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, it's a house boat or a house car boat thing. Uh, it's called the House Parade Float. So let's see, House Parade Float. Oh, <laughs> I'm missing a mod. Damn it. Hang on, I'm going to exit out real quick and go grab. I thought I had that mod mounted. I'm going to go grab it. I'll invite you right back. <sighs> so now I have to go find the Intelligentia mod. I could have sworn I had that one too. Intelligentia. Intelligentia mod. How have I not been subscribed to this one? Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Now time to <laughs> load back in. Uh, I think it's this one I was using. Ah. <laughs> uh this time will you there we go Ugh. All right, everybody. What we have here is the House Parade Float by Jaden. 
Uh, why leave the house? Now you don't have to anymore. It floats, it drives, it tosses a mean pancake. Maybe. Not even I know if it's a house, a car, or a parade float, but that doesn't really matter, does it? This float is gorgeous. Uh, it has a lot of parts. It, uh, it has a lot of parts. It follows you if you wish. It even has a security system. Uh, it will follow you, or you can control it from the top. Uh, it makes very, very clever use of the Intelligentia mod. Um, and it is, as far as I remember, the only mod that has an inside. This mod actually has a full living space inside. And stick around to the very end, because I will be showing you guys that. Um... But for the time being, this is this has been the uh, this has been the the house float. Uh, I will tell you, when we spawned it in, uh, Scald and I were standing there. We spawned it in, and he and I were checking the float out. We hit a random button on the front and thought, oh, "Okay, doesn't really seem to do anything." Then we started walking away, and then we turned around, <laughs> and the parade float had stayed with us. So we walked away again. Still stayed with us, and that's when we went. Mm -hmm. And that's when I double checked the uh, description. I said, "Oh, this is the one. Yep, this is the one that will actually follow you. So it will follow you, albeit a little slowly. Uh, but there is a way to control it from the top, and it is uh, a little bit faster, obviously. But uh, this is this is quite possibly one of one of the most interesting floats in the entire parade. Uh, and that's it. So we'll go ahead and get on to the next one." All right, now we have coming down the line, um, absolutely gorgeous looking tractor. This is by my dear friend, uh, Scald Me I'm Pink, who I found out, uh, I, whose, whose name I actually got wrong before. Um, so this float is a John Deere tractor with a small town float. It is called the Good News. Um, the rules for the challenge were simple. It had to be a family friendly float, as if your grandmother were watching. The epiphany Scald had from the rules was it, not if my grandmother were watching, but instead, what parade would she take me to? That was easy. She had always enjoyed the small hometown parades that took place during the holidays. This humble float may not appear as much, but the point was to make something meaningful to a small town, something a community would, f <laughs> something a community would gather together to build, something that had meaning, a reason for any season. Float description: The uh, Scald wanted this float to look like it was made from a small town, uh, made it of at a small town, so the goal was not to make it flashy or super realistic, though in my opinion it is a beautiful float. You can see you can see supports that hold objects, you can see some stutters and mechanical movement, but they only add to the charm of this heartfelt tractor and trailer built with love and a grandmother's memory. Thank you very much, Scald. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I do like the little the little movements, the clouds, and the uh, cave opening. They are absolutely gorgeous. Very fluid. All right, our next float in the parade is called Fine, I'll Do It Myself by... <gasps> it's me! Because I didn't know it was going to be mine. Uh, after the failed Area 51 raid, the alien within decided, within Area 51 decided, if the humans aren't going to save him, he'll do it himself. So he did. By flying out. Of a hangar. And working. See how well that works? We, you may notice we have switched out of the town, and that's because we were having some glitch, glitchy problems. We finally got the the float to sit, not glitch out, 
And I think we've been doing this now for 20 minutes. We finally got it to work. So, we're doing it here. Um, one switch actually starts the entire thing. It opens up the hangar doors, uh, takes the helicopter off. Um, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, the alien in the helicopter, his head actually moves side to side. And uh, the spotlight... Excuse me. The spotlight in the guard tower moves side to side. So, I'm very proud of this one. It took a lot of work to make. And it took a lot of work to not glitch out. But we'll go ahead. Uh, we have one more for today. And we'll go ahead and get onto that one. All right, everybody, before we get into the actual last float that um, I went ahead and recorded with Scald the other day, I have one uh, I'd like to kind of shoehorn in here. There was one more entry uh, for the float contest, and unfortunately, it did not work quite right. It lagged everything. I think I was running it five minute at best, and unfortunately, I just could not include footage of this particular float. Um, I will, though, include a link in the description below um, for the uh, the slightly updated version that doesn't lag quite as badly. Uh, but this float was submitted by Mr. Awesome, and uh, it has two of his creations on the back, and it has the float itself. Everything is mechanically driven, um, or in this version that you're seeing, everything is mechanically driven. The pistons drive a crankshaft, the crankshaft then drives... Uh, gears, gears drive the wheels, so on, so on, so forth. It is absolutely amazing to watch, but as I said, it is unfortunately a little on the laggy side. And between um, my computer and Scald's computer, uh, the stuff that we, the other stuff, the, the the town set we had and stuff, I just we could not, we couldn't get it. We we tried getting in. We actually at one point even tried getting into an empty world, and it just. I, I couldn't run it and the recording software and, 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 and you get it. Um, so to Mr. Awesome, I do apologize that I couldn't get actual video of your float. Uh, but I do plan on doing a side video specifically on this float more, uh, more than anything, just for the, uh, just for the mechanical nature of it. Um, so do for this float in your voting, uh, there will be a vote, uh, on the upper portion of the screen which i'll talk about later but anyway do consider this float um and do give mr awesome a little bit of love he made an amazing float that i just could not get to work and i feel so bad but he does have an automatic entry into my next uh my next parade which again i'll get into at the end of the video so thank you everybody uh and i'll get back to the regular parade now All right, and this next float, which is probably one of the fastest in the parade, wow, <laughs> there it goes. It's by General Green, and it's, I am going to butcher this, forewarning. It's called Le Ballade de Hollande, I'm assuming. Uh, the bottom part of this float is based on an Icelandic trawler uh, Green saw once. The top part is made from wood and features dancing men in Holland national dress, flowers, large wooden clogs, and a working windmill. You can actually see the... The clogs on the front of the float, which disappeared. Uh, Grim isn't sure why he chose the Netherlands-based design. Uh, it just seemed right, even though he has no connection with the Le Netherlands and has never been there before. I, for one, feel as, I've, I've, as if I was actually there. Uh, this is absolutely wonderful, General Grim. Uh, thank you very much for uh, for for putting into the float uh, into the parade. Uh, now there was an option that we had. Uh, General Grim said that we could blow it up if we so chose. 
And I'm not going to right now, um, because I I'm very tired. Um, but I do appreciate all of you for joining us. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed our parade. This is, I'm hoping, the first of many. Um, stick around, though. Uh, don't forget to hit that little bell icon uh, shortly after this video premieres. I will actually have a uh, behind this, little bit of a behind-the-scenes video on our little set and a little bit of an up-close and personal look at some of the uh, floats. A few of them actually have a few hidden gems that you can't see, really get, really see unless you're up close and personal. So um, stick around. Uh, I'll be putting that video out shortly after this one premieres. Uh, hopefully I can get them both edited and done at the same time, which would be fantastic. Uh, but thank you everybody for joining me. Uh, and I'd like to make a, I'd like to put out a special thank you to Scald, uh, who did not yell at me for getting his name wrong. Uh, it's Scald Me, I'm Pink. Uh, he has been absolutely invaluable to this entire process, uh, and I do thank him very much. Uh, he actually has a website. I will be putting it in the description below. Uh, he's a youth minister and works with prisoners. I highly recommend you go take a look at his website. It's got a lot of good stuff. Uh, maybe throw him a little bit of love. But thank you, everybody, for joining me. Don't forget you can follow me on various social media um websites discord uh, i'm on discord i'm on twitter i'm on instagram uh and i'm on a few others uh i'll have to remember those i'm very tired and i haven't eaten all day uh but they'll all be in the description below and probably displayed on the screen at the end so thank you everybody for joining me i've been sir wolf this has been black wolf gaming this has been our first annual float parade uh if oh if you would like to put in a float i will have you having my next one uh, later this year, I realize it's not exactly annual, but um, the actual time frame will be between, my plan is to be between uh, the Macy's Day Parade and the Rose Bowl Parade. And that's kind of the, the, the pinpoint of time I want to be. So if you would like to submit, you'll have the entire time from when you see this all the way through until the video was announced later this year. Uh, to submit a float, You there will be a link also in the description below. Um, and I may pin a comment taking you directly to the Steam page for my Scrap Mechanic video, uh, my Scrap Mechanic group. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on. We actually have several projects uh, that we'll be uh, talking about and building here in the upcoming months. Uh, you can also go ahead and uh, post um, your float designs for the next parade. Uh, don't forget, get them in. I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I'm hoping next year will be even bigger or next parade later this year. You know what I mean. So thank you everybody for joining me. I will see all of you again in the very next episode. All right, everybody. So as I said, there is a there is going to be a poll at the top of the screen, and I want all of you to go ahead and vote for whatever float is your favorite. Um, maybe leave a comment down below telling the float builders what you thought. Maybe tell me what you thought. Uh, but thank you everybody for joining me and thank you for watching this. I do apologize it came out so late. I was trying to, I wanted to get out about a week, week and a half ago, but work got in the way. But thank you everybody for being patient uh, and keep stick around a little bit because there will be a behind the scenes video that will be following this one as soon as I have time to shoot it. Thank you everybody for joining us and I'll see all of you again very soon.